Good afternoon and welcome to this week's episode of Hawk TV. I'm your host, Kelly Torres. On this episode, we'll find out what students at Southside are thankful for, learn about the new Hunger Games book, find out how the NJRTC's AMI went, and find out how the Beta Club's trip to Nashville for Beta Convention went. Don't go anywhere because Hawk TV starts now. You're watching the world's greatest show, Hawk TV. Thanksgiving is near and today we have some students telling us about what they are thankful for. What am I thankful for? I am thankful for my family, um, for my health, and I'm thankful for um, the people at Southside that I work with to have such a fun job. Family, friends. I am thankful for having a job working with the best students in West Tennessee, especially Gerilyn and Abby. I'm thankful for my family, for the love and support that we all share with one another. I'm also thankful for my Southside family because we spend a lot of time together and with their love and support, that's what makes Southside what we are. All right. I'm thankful for my friends, family, crew, the guys. All right, I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful to wake up again for another day and I'm just thankful for everything that my friends have done for me. I am thankful for all of my precious students. I'm thankful for my family and my friends here at school, and I'm thankful for the job that I have. Hey, I'm thankful for my friends, my family, my school friends. I'm thankful for my family, my friends, money, my job, ATM machines, my man. We'll be right back after this commercial break with news about the new Hunger Games book. But first, crunch time trivia. How many wins did our boys soccer team earn last season? The first student to email Mr. Hammond gets a crunchy surprise. Finish it. Defeated. Don't get over. Just stay home. Welcome back. If you love The Hunger Games, then this story is for you. Jennifer Wyatt is here with information about the new prequel coming to The Hunger Games series. Book prequel to The Hunger Games series, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, comes out on May 19th, 2020. This book takes place 64 years before the first book, on the day of the ripening for the 10th Hunger Games. The author of the series, Suzanne Collins, hasn't revealed much about the prequel novel, so many fans of The Hunger Games are wondering what happens. The cover of the book kind of gives us a clue. Uh, what do you th think of the cover and title? Well, I thought the, the cover is very interesting. Um, it seems very symbolic of the things that happen later on in the series. Um, I see a little hint of a Mockingjay in there. So uh, I'm really excited about um, the things that are going to happen in there. We may find out more about District 13 and the other 12 districts. What district do you think the victory will be from as it takes 64 years before the first book, which would have been the 10th Hunger Games? Well, I'm sure there's probably a hand in there somewhere that we probably know what it's from. Um, I think it's probably going to be one of the um, career districts, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, I know that uh, it's a little bit before we get one of our characters that we know in the other uh, the other series, so in the first part of the series. So, um, I don't know, I think it might be one of the career districts. Hmm. Each of the other 12 districts offer a, a boy and a girl as a tribute to the capital to compete in the Hunger Games. 24 go in, only one comes out. What characters from the original series do you think will be in the prequel? And I know there's not a lot to pick from. <laughs> I really think that um, Mags will be in there. Um, Mags was in the 11th Hunger Games, mm -hmm. and so I think that she'll be in there. We'll get a little bit of her backstory. So I don't really think there'll be a whole lot other in there. I really think that Mags will be about it. I would like to see a younger President Snow. I would be interested to see who would play him in the movie. Um, I thought Donald Sutherland did a great job in the other movies uh, as President mm -hmm. Snow, but I'd like to see a younger version of him, and maybe even how he, um, how he played into some of the things that he did with the swords in his mouth and things like that. So I'd kind of like to see more about President Snow and how things got started in the Capitol. Personally, I hope we see Max win again. Victor of the 11th Hunger Games. And maybe the first District 12 victor. 
for Hawk TV. I'm we'll be right back after this short commercial break with more information about the NJROTC's annual military inspection. But first, another crunch time trivia. What year did Southside High School open? The first student to email Mr. Hammond gets a crunchy surprise. Welcome back. On November the 15th, the NJROTC had their annual military inspection. Ashley Wortham is here with more information. On Friday, November 15th, the Southside NJROTC had its annual military inspection. Commander Merv Dial, NJROTC Area 9 Manager, was on campus to expect the 115-member company. Commander Connor and Chief Reagan have spent the entire semester preparing their students for this event. The AMI is where all the cadets in the company, which is the, like all the cadets from Southside, get together and we have our annual military inspection. And that is when Commander Dahl, which is, um, he is one of the main inspectors, comes and inspects us and makes sure we're doing good, we look good, and we've trained and we look good. Well, from the very beginning of the year, we'll go ahead and bring a lot of new cadets in. And as we start working with the cadets, uh, we have to do team building and uh, get them to learn how to march, wear the uniform, uh, do drill and everything else like that. So we start from knowing nothing to being prepared for the AMI. The company members displayed their skills in the armed drill team, unarmed drill team, and color guard. So the reason why it was a challenge again is because we have a lot of young cadets uh, that are growing and the senior cadets are the ones that are in charge that day. So from uh, the coordination of doing the marching, doing the uh, staff uh, presentations, it's all the senior cadets that are in charge. Commander Dow, who also oversees NJROTC programs in Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, and Parks of Texas challenged the cadets at Southside to prepare for the challenges after high school. Congratulations to NJROTC 2019 class. Thanks, Ashley. Last Thursday, the Beta Club went to Nashville to participate in the statewide convention. We had three students placed in different competitions. Here is Autumn Williams with the story. I'm Autumn Williams, and I'm here with Ms. Livingston. Ms. Livingston, where is Beta Climb? Beta Convention is an impressive showcase of student talent. Um, students across all of the state of Tennessee gather and they compete in different events to see who's the absolute best. Um, different events include anything from taking an academic test to painting to living literature and other impressive showcases of student talent. What was your favorite part? My favorite part about Beta Convention was without a doubt seeing the impressive talent that we have at Southside High School. Um, we represented our school really well, I thought. We won a first place ribbon in textiles, and we won other trophies in painting and um, in some academic tests. And so I think Southside went there and, and represented ourselves well. If you could change one thing, what would it be? Um, I think about BetaCon, what I would change is I would get more students involved and more students wanting to go to Beta and spread the word because it's a great way for students to meet other leaders in the state of Tennessee and to learn better leadership skills themselves. So I think that the more people, the better. Thank you. I'm Autumn Williams and I'm here with Jessica. Jessica, did you enjoy BetaCon? Yes. How did it feel placing in the top five in the visual arts? Um, it was really exciting. I was not expecting it. What was your favorite part? 
My favorite part about BetaCon was the talent shows. Thank you. I don't know, and I'm here with Jennifer White. Jennifer, did you enjoy BetaCon? Yes, it was very fun. What was your favorite part? I'd say entering in my course. No. How did it feel when it first place? Uh, I gotta admit, I about burst into tears when I saw the blue ribbon. Thank you. The theater company has been working hard for their upcoming play, The Mousetrap. The shows are December 5th at 7 p.m., the 7th at 2.30 p.m. and 7 p.m., and the 8th at 2.30 p.m. The admission is $7. That's all for this edition of Hawk TV. See you next time, and don't forget, today is a great day to be a hawk.